hello and welcome back to saving with danielle i'm at walmart to tackle some rebates i need a, a total of what was it 17 rebates to hit my bonus well actually i have a bonus that a weekend warrior bonus when you reach when you um re redeem 15 rebates you get a dollar and then i only need 17 to hit my other bonus of ten dollars and right now I'm standing in front of a freebie. I'm so happy about this because I'm going to put my turkey and my, these mashed potatoes and, you know, the other items that I got together and give it to somebody. So this is perfect. So the Bob Evans mashed potatoes, they're in my store for $3.87. I bought us giving back four. So that's going to make it completely free plus a 13 cent money maker. So I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to pick up this vegan cream cheese. It's priced at $4.48. I bought us giving back $4.97. So it's going to make it free plus a, what's that, 50, 49 cent money maker. So I'm going to grab this it. mac and cheese priced at a dollar and 38 cent. I bought us giving back 75 cent, making my final cost 63 cent for the mac and cheese. So I'm grabbing it. Now I only need one more to hit the bonus of 25 cent, but it's all good. I'm going to grab the yeast here. It's priced at a dollar and 72 cent. I bought us going to give us back 50 cent, making it only a dollar and 22 cent. So I'm going to grab it. Now the chip steal. You've seen it several times. The Doritos, they're on rollback for $3.50. So I'm picking up two bags of those. The Fritos are priced at two out, $3.98. And the Frito dip is priced at $3.98. Um, well, 48 cent, I think it is. Um... That's $17.41. Ibotta is going to give us back $3.50. I'm, th I'm sorry, $3.98 for purchasing two bags of the Doritos. And I'm also going to receive $2 back for one for the Fritos chips, one for the Fritos dip. And I'm supposed to hit a bonus of another dollar. Then I'm going to use the $3 off five coupons. So that's going to bring my total to $7.42. Not the best, but. I like to use these opportunities to get things that we're going to use or eat. And, you know, I got a little homie I got to look out for. You know, he told me he loves snacks, so I want to make sure I, I stock him up really well. <laughs> now the Snuggo, I'm going to pick up one of these. The Scent Boosters, they're priced at $4.77. I bought it's going to give us back a dollar. And I'm hoping to hit a bonus of a dollar, so they're bringing my final cost to $2.77. I'm also going to pick up... The liquid down here priced at four dollars and seventy cents, seven cent as well. I have a fifty cent I bought a rebate. I have, um, let's see, I have the coupon on coupons.com is not attaching. I really want to use a coupon, but I but this rebate restricts us from using coupons. But okay, so I have, I I'm going to submit my receipt to checkout fifty one for a dollar. And fetch for a thousand points, which is um, a dollar as well. So that's going to be a total of two dollars and sixty-five cent. Okay, leaving my final cost to be um, two dollars and seventeen cent for the bottle. So yeah, I'm okay. Get it. The Clorox is priced at six dollars and eighty-two cent. I'm going to use this two dollar off one coupon from this, this week's insert. Um, I bought it's going to give us back two dollars. Okay, and then I'm going to submit my receipt to Swag Bucks for a dollar. So that's a total of five dollars, leaving my final cost to be a dollar ninety two cents. So right, the Eucerin is priced at twelve dollars and twenty eight cents. Now I'm going to do the seal again. Well, I'm just going to pick up one and I bought it's going to give us back three dollars. I have two dollars on coupons.com. I also have a um, rebate that's tracking where when you spend 30, you get six dollars back. So this transaction, I should hit 30. I'm going to get 800 kicks from Shopkick, which is three dollars and two cents. Three dollars and twenty cents. I'm sorry, and I have a brand club survey for a dollar. Okay, so that should make everything completely free plus a dollar money maker. But um, yes, I'm hoping everything works out as expected, especially with the rebate on coupons.com because it's tracking and you know lately it's been taking them a little while to process everything. But yeah, I'm going to take advantage of this body wash. Picking yeah. up the Neutrogena again. It's priced at seven dollars and ninety-seven cents. I bought it. We have two rebates attaching, one for $2.50, one for $3. And I have a um, coupon on coupons.com on my other account for $3. So it's going to make it completely free plus a... No, it's just going to be completely free plus a 50 cent money maker, 53 cent money maker. So I'm going to grab Johnson soap here is priced at $1.98. I bought us giving us back a dollar and coupons.com. We have a dollar rebate there, which is going to make it completely free. So I'm going to grab it. 
Now, here's everything that I picked up in my trip today at Walmart. For everything you see here, I paid a total of $62.81. Now, one deal I forgot to go over was the Lysol wipes. They're priced at $1.56. I bought a, we have a 75 cent rebate attaching to each one. Okay, and I also submitted my receipt to Swagbucks. That rebate has been tripping, y'all. But I, um, it didn't immediately go through. I submitted my receipt for um, review. So I'm hoping that I get a 400 Swagbucks, okay? Now here's my receipts. Okay, here's my first receipt. And here's my second receipt right here. Now again, for everything you see here, I paid a total of $62.81. I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and I received back a total of $43.70 which included my weekend warrior bonus of a dollar, my um, major bonus of $10. I hit a snuggle bonus of a dollar as well as a free toll chip bonus of a dollar as well. Okay. I submitted my receipt to check out 51. I received back $2.38 for both the snuggle products that I purchased. I submitted my receipt to fetch. I received a thousand points there. Swag bucks. Now I instantly received the hundred swag bucks, which is a dollar for the Clorox, but I still have pending 400 swag bucks for the Lysol. Okay. That's still pending. Hopefully I get it. Um, shop kick. I submitted my receipt for a total of 900 kicks, um, 800 for the Eucerin and 100 for the, um, snuggle. So that's a total of $3 and 60 cents. Coupons.com. I, sub I submitted for a total of $12, $3 for the Neutrogena, $2 for the Eucerin. And then I'm, I was, I'm hoping it's tracking towards the Eucerin, spend 30, get back six and a dollar for the Johnson and Johnson. Now the Eucerin, I'm a little, I, I mean, I'm unsure about it, but I mean, I know I spent $30 between the two transactions I did this week. So, um, let me know if you've received that $6 back from coupons.com. If you, you know, broke it up into two different transactions, if you purchased the Eucerin, $30 of Eucerin in one transaction, or was it between a couple of different shopping trips? Let me know because, um, I'm, I'm really hoping it works out as expected, but that's the only thing I'm really concerned about. But from coupons.com, that's a total of $12 and brand club. I have a survey for a dollar and 25 cent for the Eucerin. So that gives me a total of six, dollars and 93 cent back in rebates. Now subtracting the total amount spent, which was $62 and 81 cent makes everything you see here completely free plus a $6 and 12 cent money maker. Now, again, I'm really concerned about that Eucerin tracking towards to spend 30 get back six so if i don't get that back it'll make just everything free basically um but we will see we will see um please again share in the comments below if you've already taken advantage of that promotion so yes if you have any questions regarding any of the items that you see in my haul today please do not hesitate to drop them in the comments below Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.